Hi, this is Ian Charnas from the Tesla Orchestra, and I'm here with Matt Fitzpatrick, famous musician. Hey, y'all. And premier musician for the Open Spark Project. He has graciously given us his time in creating a masterpiece. $30 an hour. <laughs> the check's in the mail. So we're here to show you a common problem that can happen when submitting your files in an audio workstation application. Right here we're using a program called Logic, but you might be using a similar program and run into a similar problem. Right here you can see we have a little ditty that Matt has crafted for us. Let's listen to it play. Now you can see that there's a space at the beginning of the song where there's no music, it's just a rest. However, the program has seemingly started the MIDI track uh, all the way over here. Now what's going to happen is uh, a problem. Here's what happens. If we export this track, oh, I got to do it up in a menu up here. I'm going to export the file, the selection as a MIDI file. And we're going to save it to the desktop, uh, MIDI test uh, 5. We've been at this for a while today. And I'm going to use a really simple MIDI editing program called Sweet MIDI Player. It's free. <laughs> and I'm going to open that track. Let's go open it. It's on my desktop. And it's called <laughs> MIDI Test 5. Now watch what happens. When I hit start, we're expecting to hear a pause in the song, but instead what we hear is we instantly hear the track. So it's exporting starting from here, and it's missing all those rests. That's going to mess up the song when we go to try to play those two MIDI tracks together with the MP3. All the timing's going to be off. Now the way to fix this is real easy. It's the same in Logic Pro as it is in many other digital audio workstations or recording sessions. We're just going to grab the beginning of the track and sort of expand it all the way to the beginning of the song. Now you notice that the individual notes haven't changed position, but now there's some white space, let's call it, at the beginning of the song. Now when I go to export that track, I'm going to file, export, selection is MIDI file, MIDI test 6, and go ahead and open that up in my sweet MIDI player <laughs> software. File, open, and I'm going to select MIDI test 6. Now we're going to hear, well we're going to not hear the music at the beginning because we're going to hear the rests that we wanted. Here we go. There's the rests. And in bar three, here's the song. It should also be noted that uh, it, it's only for that beginning. If you don't want the testicle photo to start instantly, it's only for that beginning rest. Otherwise, you're fine just starting right at the beginning there. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. All right, this has been Ian Charnas and Matt Fitzpatrick. <laughs>